Fast KTM Medallas February Clarence 2022. Right, first off, thanks to everyone for joining us for the first Fast KTM Medallas of 2022. The loop distances are as follows. Green, 9 kilometers, blue, 20 kilometers, and red, 23 kilometers. Green is easy, blue is a little bit more challenging with some slippery rock sections, and red is a great ride with not too much difficulty, perfect for the first medallas of the year, but still has a few nasty stings added in. As usual, a huge thank you must go to our sponsors. All of their logos are on your event t-shirts. Your goodie bags have been filled to the brim thanks to these generous sponsors, and the Lucky Draw prizes were also supplied by these great brands, so please support them when you are buying in the bike shops. Then Jason from Enduro Wow for the design on the map work. Uh, Warwick Robinson for the t-shirt designs. Huge thanks also to Jonathan from Omega Luxury Retreat and Clarence Rocks and Tyron Boucher for setting out such spectacular routes. Please note if you want to come riding Clarence, you must get hold of Jonathan. He will guide you around. No riding in Clarence without a guide. Then thanks to all the marshals and the Enduro World crew, especially Denise. This year we have decided to run our Medalla series through WAMSA, so every rider needs to have at least a Medalla's license at 220 Rand for the whole year. These can be bought on the Enduro World website. Right, on to safety. The road to Madeira Farm can be a bit tricky with mud should it rain a lot. Take it easy. If you're on a 4x4 and you see someone is stuck, please help them out. We've done our best to clear as much mud and water off the road as possible. Um, so please help out there if you can. Please, as normal, take a photo of the emergency numbers provided on the posters. Um, these will also be on the WhatsApp groups. In the pits, all riders must wear helmets. Even if you're lifting, both must wear a helmet. First gear in the pits at all time. And no drinking alcohol until the bikes are loaded. No joy riding around the pits, especially the little kids on 50s and 65s. Your number stickers must be on the front number board of your bike. No sticker, no ride. This is to keep track of everyone for safety and to record your number of laps and points allocated for that lap. It's not for timing because this is not a timed event. The start will open up on Saturday morning at 6 o'clock and remain open until 9 o'clock. You can start any time between these times. Please check the WhatsApp group when you come into the pits for any last minute important info. Get your pit crews to join so that they can also inform you of any news um, if there is. The signal in the pits is weak, but Just Track will be there supplying free Wi-Fi to everyone. So just go and have a chat to Sean and he will get you online. They will also be hiring out some tracking units so the pit crews can see where the riders are out on the routes. They have a big TV screen with the routes preloaded and you can see where your rider is um, out on the route. If there are any medical emergencies out on the route, please try and send us a pic of the coordinates on your GPS with some detail of what's wrong and relay this information to, to the medics. Take it easy. Resist the urge to go fast. Rather enjoy the scenery. It's truly awesome. And the black stuff on the rocks is truly slippery. In order to start, we need to record your, record your number at the start, which shows us you have started the lap. This will only happen on your first lap. To start, go to the large Enduro World gazebo at the far side of the pits. There will also be the two Prepsol flags there, and that's where you will start your lap. Then you will only be recorded when you return from your lap. On completion of your lap, you will get a colored sticker according to the lap you completed. Stay on the route at all times. No shortcuts. There are places where the route comes close to itself. Please keep an eye on your GPS. Please do not ride over any farmland. Stay on the route so it will be easier to find you if there are any issues. There are no markings or signs out on the route. It is a GPS track only and it is compulsory to ride with a GPS or ride with someone who is using one to navigate. We strongly recommend the pointer field on your GPS as some places you go out and return on a very similar track. If your pointer is pointing towards you, you're going in the wrong direction. We have some videos on our website which will help you with your GPS programming. Right, to get a bronze medal you will need 30 points, a silver 60 points and a gold 90 points. Completion of the green route will get you 15 points, the main medallas blue loop is 30 points and a red loop is 60 points. 
Some red loop finishers might have their GPSs checked for compliance. Please allow faster riders to pass you. Please go slowly in villages where there's houses or people or animals. Ride on established paths where possible. Do not under any circumstances ride over any plowed lands. Please use the black rubbish bag for your litter and take it with you when you leave. We will have La Barista supplying delicious proper coffee, lovely food, burgers and horse rolls and drinks on Saturday. Please support them. They've made a massive effort to drive all the way from Joburg to supply you with good quality takeaway food. Clarence Brewery will also have a stand and their proceeds from the sales will go towards an animal shelter in the area. The cutoff time for start of the last lap will be 3 p.m. For, for green and blue and 1.30 p.m. for red if the weather holds, but it may be earlier if the weather turns bad. We will announce any changes via the WhatsApp group and on the PA system. The lucky draw will happen at exactly 3 p.m. on Saturday at the start finish gazebo. We will put more info on the WhatsApp group and over the PA system. You will need to get a number from Andre between 2 and 3 p.m. to be included in the draw. Your event number, which you get at the registration, is not your lucky draw number. Please bring the paper slip with you, with your name on it, to Andre and exchange it for a lucky draw number between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Right, program of events. Friday, 11th of Feb. Uh, the uh, Friday ride will start at 1 p.m. Uh, registration also opens at 12 and will close at 5. On Saturday morning, the start opens at 6 and will close at 9. This is also the times for registration from 6 until 9. The cutoff time, as I mentioned, for red is half past 1 and 3 o'clock for blue and green. Please remember to to report back to the finish if you did not start because of bike trouble or if you did not finish or you just decided you don't want, do not want to go out again. Please come and report back to us and just let us know that you're safe and you're not going out again so we don't need to send anyone else looking for you. Right, next uh, Michelin EWXE is on the 26th of Feb at Maribaba Game Lodge near Cullinan and the next Fast KTM Medallas is on the 30th of April and that will probably be in the Berg somewhere. More details to follow in the next week then please email us with any suggestions you may have about our events. We are trying to make them better and better and any input will help. Please also join our notification only WhatsApp group to receive the latest Enduro World news. Thank you very much for joining us in Clarence.